A silent but monumental shift is happening, not in Silicon Valley but in China's factories and labs. China is on a mission to master semiconductors, the tiny brains powering our digital world. For decades a few countries controlled the global chip supply. Now China is determined to rewrite that story. This is more than policy, it's a national mission for technological independence and global influence. China's leaders see reliance on foreign chips as a vulnerability, especially as chips become tools of political leverage. To break free, China is building its own semiconductor industry from scratch, design, manufacturing and beyond. The results are showing, China's chip imports are dropping as domestic production rises. China isn't just catching up, it's investing in next-gen tech like quantum and photonic chips, aiming to leapfrog current leaders. The world is taking notice. What seemed impossible is now a looming reality, with global implications for trade, security and technology. China's quiet chip crusade is reshaping the future, one silicon wafer at a time. Why does China's chip quest matter? Because semiconductors are the invisible engines of our lives. Every phone, car and computer relies on billions of transistors etched onto these chips. Chips power everything from streaming movies to running AI and controlling modern vehicles. A single car can contain thousands of chips, making the auto industry highly sensitive to supply disruptions. In data centers, chips are the backbone of the digital economy, enabling cloud computing and AI. The race for better AI is really a race for better chips, and the nation that leads here will dominate the future. Control over chips means control over economic and military power, that's why the global fight for semiconductor supremacy is so fierce. The stakes? Nothing less than the future of technology and global influence. China's top priority is technological sovereignty. For years it consumed more chips than it made, relying on the US, Taiwan and South Korea. U.S. export controls expose this vulnerability, accelerating China's push for self-sufficiency. Now, China's chip imports are falling, not from weak demand, but because domestic factories are filling the gap. National strategies like Made in China 2025 target key tech choke points, with semiconductors at the top. The goal, build a resilient, independent chip ecosystem that can innovate and withstand external pressure. Every new factory and research breakthrough brings China closer to a world where tech spheres are divided and self-reliant. China's chip revolution is fueled by unprecedented state investment. The big fund pools billions to back domestic chip companies from R&D to massive new factories. Since 2014, three funding phases have injected nearly $100 billion into the industry. This financial firepower lets Chinese firms take risks and build capacity without worrying about short-term profits. China is now in the midst of the largest chip factory boom in history, focusing on both mature and advanced chips. By dominating foundational chips, China secures its supply chain and gains market leverage. Billions also go toward acquiring specialized equipment, especially where foreign restrictions bite hardest. The result, China is systematically removing every bottleneck, turning ambition into industrial reality. This flood of investment is powering China's silicon dream. Massive investment has created a new generation of Chinese chip champions. SMIC, China's top foundry, broke barriers by producing a 7 nanometer chip for Huawei, despite US restrictions. Huawei's HiSilicon keeps innovating, collaborating with SMIC to create advanced, homegrown chips. In memory chips, YMTC and CXMT are closing the gap with global leaders, reducing reliance on foreign suppliers. China is also nurturing companies in specialized areas like FPGAs, challenging U.S. dominance. Startups and established firms alike are getting state support to push into new frontiers, including photonic chips. This multi-pronged approach is building a deep, diverse industry. The goal, a self-sufficient ecosystem that can meet all of China's needs. China's champions are now competing on the global stage. China's chip surge has triggered a global response. The U.S. and allies have imposed strict export controls, blocking China from advanced chip-making tools and expertise. These measures aim to slow China's progress and protect Western tech leadership. The U.S. is also investing billions at home through the CHIPS Act, sparking a global subsidy race. Europe and others are following suit, trying to reshore chip production and reduce supply chain risks. China meanwhile controls key raw materials like gallium and germanium, and has used export controls to remind the world of its leverage. The result? A fractured tech landscape, with two blocks racing for self-sufficiency. The global chip war is now a two-way street with each side wielding its own strengths. The era of a unified tech ecosystem is ending. The world is splitting into rival digital spheres. 
The chip race is about more than gadgets. It's about the future of global power. China's drive for chip independence challenges the old tech order and could reshape the world. If China succeeds, it will gain economic resilience, military strength and greater influence. The global tech ecosystem is fracturing with two parallel worlds emerging, one led by the US, one by China. This split brings higher costs and uncertainty, especially for businesses used to a single market. Taiwan, home to TSMC, remains a critical flashpoint. Its fabs are vital to both sides. China's chip push is partly about reducing reliance on Taiwan, while the island's security is a top U.S. priority. The technological landscape is shifting fast. Western dominance is no longer guaranteed. China's rapid advances in mature and memory chips are already changing the game. The nation that masters silicon will shape the 21st century. A new order is being built, one chip at a time.